Hey guys, so let's unpack volume eating because I have a lot of clients that do this and I'm not gonna lie, this was something that I used to do <clears throat> quite often as well, especially with like choosing the low calorie ice cream of like, I was like shook that I could actually eat this entire pint of Halo Top or Arctic Zero because it was just a lot of volume in one sitting. And to me, it was like this big reward at the end of the day. However, over time, I, I developed this all or nothing mindset with having sweets. I had this mentality where if I had to have a sweet, it had to be the entire thing because I was so used to seeing such a large quantity in front of me and being able to eat it. And so this kept me afraid of having the regular pint because I was like, well, I'm gonna eat all of it. And so in the case of when I'm working with people on this issue, I see a lot of people choosing things like egg whites over eggs or like low calorie breads over regular breads or being afraid of having something like a bagel or even just choosing like like zoodles over actual noodles. And again, the problem with this is that you get so used to seeing such high volume sitting in front of you to where when you have like quote unquote a more normal portion that isn't so high volume, it's like what the heck do I do in that situation? Like, I don't know how to eat and like understand when my body's telling me it's satisfied. And so I think that volume eating can be a detriment to your relationship with food, especially in just in social, situ social situations and on a daily basis. And if you read the caption today, you'll notice that a lot of people who do volume eat tend to be the same people who feel out of control with things like sweets and tend to binge eat. And so what we really need to do is heal the relationship of food, understand your hunger and fullness cues so that you can eat like regular foods and not feel so out of control around them. Like, of course, I'm not going to say that it is wrong if you want those foods, because again, I don't demonize foods. However, if we're choosing foods because we, af we are afraid of having the regular versions, or again, there's fear built into it, that, and we just can't trust our bodies, you know who you are, and it's likely not going to be healthy for you long term.